After reading Room on the Broom, we are going to design our very own Truly Magnificent Brooms. So if you recall in the book, the witch, with the help of her new friends, create the perfect magnificent broom for just what everyone needs. And so you guys are going to get to do the same thing. Your supplies are a stick, you can use model magic, pipe cleaners, yarn. It is up to you and then we'll paint our project. So you need to find a stick that makes you happy and it needs to lie flat because we're going to mount these on paper. So sketch out your stick and then decide what you want your broom to look like. I wanted my broom to be traditional and have the back end of the broom look like a broom. I'm writing right here on my plan what, it's going to, what I'm thinking I'm going to use. So pipe cleaner and yarn. I want to have a couch on my broom, a basket to hold things, um, and a blanket and a pillow and a light on the front. That's what I started with. You have to add your first and last name and your room number. I do like if you can add your table color also. So here's where you get to build. So go ahead and create whatever it is you had planned. I'm starting with a couch. It is much smaller than what I had drawn on my paper and that's okay. Um, don't worry about whatever color clay you get because you get to paint it later. I'm gonna add a blanket and a pillow to my couch. And then remember it's going to sit on paper so I'm kind of figuring out how I wanna do that and I'm gonna stick it later. So I'm just kind of placing it where I want it to be. Now I'm making the light that's gonna go on the front of my stick. I can go ahead and attach that because that's easily done. I won't have to stick it later. So again, kind of plan it out. This is a work in progress. I decided not to make my basket out of pipe cleaners. I'm switching to clay. So I also want to add, I decided either a food pot or a television because I'm seeing that I have a little extra room on my broom. So I jot that down on my plan and get back to work. Okay, so I'm making a basket. I didn't like that one, so I'm going to try a coil basket where I make a long coil and then roll it up and build a basket. That worked a lot better for me. And so um, I did that and set it where I want it to go. And now I'm going to make a television. A flat screen, of course, plus it's going to be against paper and a little stand for my television. I can use a pencil to dent and also make sure you put your clay away and I'll explain that to you better in class. Next, I'm gonna start on the back of the broom. I am breaking this pipe cleaner into a smaller piece. I might have wire cutters, but do not use scissors. That will ruin the scissors. So we'll talk about that in person. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is cut some strips or pieces of yarn and tie those onto my pipe cleaner. Again, this may not be what you do on the end of your broom, but this is what I did and it seemed to actually work really well. I'll get you a close up here. So you fold the yarn in half, put the loop on one side of your pipe cleaner and stick the ends through the little loop and then pull it. And you don't have to then really tie. If you make it uneven, you can always trim the yarn later. So you just want to pull that through. And then I did that with all the pieces. Okay, now I'm going to attach it to my stick. We are not gonna paint our sticks. That's the one thing I'd like is for us all to keep our sticks the wood color. So I can go ahead and attach this right now. It won't be a problem. I mark where I want it to go and I leave a little end of my pipe cleaner sticking out and I wrapped it all the way around and then twist tied the pipe cleaners at the end.
All right, so set it all out. Make sure everything can touch flat against the paper and you'll be ready to paint. Okay, set all of your things on a paper plate. Please write your name on the paper plate. I did not do that here. You are gonna use everything you've learned about color now because you get just the primary colors. Yellow, red, and blue. Black and white will be added. Then you can mix right on your plate. You don't need much paint at all for this project. So you can mix. You also don't need to clean your brush that much because we're mixing, mixing our colors a lot. We're just gonna wipe the brush off and keep painting. Um, so you're going to paint these clay pieces if you used clay and it doesn't even have to dry. You can paint it right now. So you just have to be careful not to squish it. And you'll see here later that I should have painted the bottom of my couch, which I did not do, and you see that later. So you can paint the top, set it down, work on something else, come back and flip it over because it dries pretty quickly. So I did pink, I made purple, um, gray, light blue. I don't, I think black might be the only color I used straight. I think I mixed everything else. Um, I did add a flower to my pillow and I added a little crown on my television because I like to watch the Hallmark Channel and their logo is a crown. You get to paint however you like. Okay, everything is dry, it's time to assemble it. Again, we have to put this on a paper, so you have to make sure it's not wonky. So make sure the stick can lie flat. We're gonna use these sticky dots best we can. I tried first putting it on the couch and attaching it and it didn't work. So I put the sticky dots right on the stick and then attached the couch. I set it down and it didn't go flush to the paper, so I had to adjust it. Stuck on the television, stuck on the basket, and I was ready to go to add it to my nice black paper. But I have to first decide what touches the paper on the back of my whole broom. So I added a sticky to the light, the end of my broom, and on the back of the couch, and that worked really well. See, it sticks great. And then you're gonna use a white charcoal pencil to add your name neatly first and the last name to the bottom corner of your art. Keep a hold of your plans. We may hang them both together. I'm not quite sure, but I think it's really fun to look at what you thought you were gonna make and how it turned out to see if it worked out for you because you learn things along the way. I hope you had fun.